These three food groups are the essential food groups. Why? Remember, we're going to ask why at every step. Well, fiber sweeps the gastrointestinal tract. And if it doesn't get swept every day, it starts to, it starts to uh, slow down and not work properly. And if the colon doesn't work, the whole body doesn't work. Plus, it is in the fiber part of food, there's often a concentration of the nutrients. Protein's essential. 50% of the membrane around every cell in the body is protein. Remember yesterday we looked at how the new cell is built up with amino acids? My son, James, he inherited my body type. It's hard to put on weight, and that's bad news for a boy because they want to be big. Well, he's big. I can show you a photo of him. He's, <coughs> he's got muscles now. How did he do that? He worked very hard. He's got his mother's diligence. He just worked at it and worked at it. But he did something else. I was in his room one day and my foot kicked this big bucket. I said, what's that? Oh, that's my protein powder, Mum. <laughs> Every bodybuilder, if they want to build up muscle, what do they got to add to their diet? Protein, because it's protein that builds muscle. 50% of the membrane around every cell in the body is fat. Whether you're 100 kilos or 300 kilos, I'm talking about the membrane around your cell. Except for the brain cell, it's 70% fat. And that's little fatty sheath around the, around the tail of the cell. That, that gets your brain cells up to, to 70%. In fact, the brain's the fattiest organ in the body. And you know what it loves to eat? Fat. <laughs> we'll have a look at that. What Atkins found is that the non-essential food group is carbohydrates. This surprised him. Now let me define that. I'm not saying carbohydrates are bad. I'd be a fool to do that. We love them. We enjoy them. We enjoy them. They're not bad. They only pose a problem when they're overdone and refined. Got that? Notice the two words, overdone and surely on the high carbohydrate diet. It's a little bit overdone, isn't it? and refined because most people that are on this diet, it's refined. But you can still overdo the unrefined carbohydrate. So because of that, your carbohydrate part of your meal is your negotiating part of the meal. And the negotiations change depending on your height, depending on your size, depending on your age, depending on your physical and mental output through the day. But probably most, it would depend on your health status. So if someone wanted to lose weight quickly, safely, drastically, what would they severely eliminate? The carbs. If someone wanted to conquer cancer, what would they quite drastically <laughs> drop? The carbs. If someone wanted to conquer their diabetes, what would they drop? The carbs. Someone wanted to um, put on weight. This is a trick question. How did James put on weight? <laughs> you don't increase the carbs because I don't know anyone that wants to get fat. <laughs> In fact, what we find, and we found this last week, that our overweight people lost weight. Our underweight people put on a little bit and our people who were the right weight, they just stayed the same and they're all eating the same food. The Bible says, prove all things and hold faster that which is good. People say to me, Barbara, do you ever step sideways? Do you ever have a little bit of junk? I say, why would I do that? <laughs> I feel so good. I sleep well. I, I like the results. So notice what the Bible says, prove all things and hold faster that which is good. In other words, do it and just, just keep at it. 